Yeah. Look at him now. Yeah, that back buck's got killer frame. He's got eye guards. Oh, sorry, the middle one. Yeah. The back one does. Yeah, the back one's got cheaters. And... The back one's cool. Can you film it? Can you get one more picture? He's going to come out from behind I'm, I'm videoing him. He's out top right now. Yards. Unless if he does, they're, they're forward. Yeah, I'd shoot all three of those bucks. That back one's really narrow, but he's heavy and he's got deep forks and cheaters. So I'm not gonna lie. Those big old bugs are pretty creepy. Well, at least I know if I get stranded, I could probably make a dinner out of those. So there's all these people tracks. But that's not a person track. There we go. And then there's another one. On this side. So I don't know if that's two bears together. I'm guessing so, because the one looks a lot smaller than the other one. Alright, go time. Opening morning. It's finally here. Uh, taking a little bit different strategy than everybody else. There's about uh, six horse trailers at the trailhead. I expected more actually, but uh, they're all packed way in. The buck we're chasing is only about a mile and a half in, so we made a nice base camp here at the trailhead. And it's time to go see if he's still there. Well, day two. Sorry I don't have any footage from day one but that's because I didn't see anything never saw a deer it was uh, very clear hot and saw no sign of life so we're gonna go back and do it again today 
and hope that if we keep hitting that same canyon, he's going to turn up. Um, if he does show up, we've got a good chance that we're going to be able to shoot him in there. So, got to keep trying. All right, well, here we are, morning day two. Little update. Um, shots have been fired, so um, quiet morning for the most part. But out of nowhere, the bucks came over the ridge towards us. Uh, we later learned that two horses pushed him to us. The wide buck was not there, but my number two was. Um, I call him tripod buck because he's got a big inline on him. Um, some other trash, and I actually think he's really cool. And when seeing him hard horned, it was obvious that we needed to shoot that deer. So uh, Dad was filming. Uh, we were having a little hard time uh, running the camera and trying to watch him, and we determined it was just more important that he watch my shot rather than try and get on film. So uh, 218 yards. Uh, shot felt really good when the smoke cleared he was making a death run straight downhill um, his buddy was still standing there and uh, he stopped prior to going into the oak at the bottom and he looked pretty sick to me at least from what I saw um, you know with just my bare eyes but going down there now check for blood and uh, see if we got us a dead buck day two well shot from up there buck was actually up here and he made this death run so I kind of just started going towards where I saw him last and without looking real hard we have blood man you just never know what these muzzleloaders I mean shooting blinds you because of all the smoke so kind of always leaves you guessing but it, he sure ran like he was hit and the shot felt really good so oh, I hope he's right down here we've given him about uh, I don't know maybe 15 20 minutes but uh, the two horses that pushed him over the ridge to us actually just walked through here not long after the shot and it didn't see him push up so um hoping he's expired all right september 26th second day of the hunt um saw earlier uh, wasn't here in the morning bucks pushed over the ridge um, unexpectedly uh, got a 214 yard shot wasn't a very good shot, but buck was hit. Showed you the blood trail he found, and the blood got really scarce. Uh, we followed the blood for a little over two and a half hours, and it was 0 .41 miles since where we started on blood. So it's been long. It's been you know a couple hundred yards sometimes between little drops of blood. But uh, we kind of picked the routes that we thought was most logical for him to travel, and eventually found him bedded here, and he was too sick to get up. So one more shot to finish him off, but. It's cool, been watching this buck since July. He was running with a really wide typical, but honestly I was torn between which buck I would take if I could, and today this one presented without the wide bucks, it was obvious. So a couple months of effort all came together. He's with us now, all done.